Hello everybody, welcome to Roblox Smokey. We have some exciting things to talk about in this video, and the topic we'll be focusing on today is how to fly hacks in Roblox Brookhaven. But of course, before we dive into this video, I've got a question for you. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you aren't, you're missing out on quite a lot here. So make sure to subscribe so you will always get the latest information about Roblox from us. Anyways, like I said in the beginning, let's dive right into this video. Starting off with the first way that you can fly in Roblox Brookhaven is to use the hospital bed method. In order for you to fly in Brookhaven using the hospital bed trick, you first need to play with friends or strangers that you can easily coordinate with. Then, what you need to do next is to take the hospital bed to your inventory. You can do this by heading into the item selection tool and take out a hospital bed in Brookhaven. After that, equip the hospital bed and make sure that there is another player nearby that also has a hospital bed equipped in their inventory. They can later jump on your hospital bed and get other players to jump on their hospital bed. You guys will later form a stack of hospital beds and it'll look like you guys are flying. Moving on to the next method you can use to fly in Brookhaven is to use the secret hospital location. Now, this is a little bit more tricky to do, but the reward is very interesting and you can actually end up flying in the game. For you to do this, you first want to head to the hospital in Brookhaven. Then, you want to go into the x-ray room. In the x-ray room, you'll be able to see a picture of a skull and you want to jump over it. Once you jump over it, you want to go through a wall and just keep on walking until you head into a secret room. Then, once you see a table, turn on the lay down animation and press the blue button under the table. You can then press on the jump button multiple times and you'll see yourself flying in a very secret and quite haunting location. Next up, we have the fountain glitch. In order to do the fountain glitch in Roblox Brookhaven, you first want to scale your avatar to the 0.4 size. Then, walk towards the fountain near the spawn area and play any animation, preferably the backflip animation. After that, you'll want to look for blind spots in the fountain and experiment with camera angles as you walk against the corners of the fountain. If you're lucky enough, you'll be able to see your character flying within a few seconds, and you can fly for as long as you want, as long as you are within reach of the fountain. Heading to the next method that you can use to fly in Brookhaven, we have the sleeping bag glitch. So, for you to do the sleeping bag glitch in Roblox Brookhaven, you want to take out two items with which is the ladder and the sleeping bag. The next thing you want to do is to place the ladder anywhere and then climb on top of it. Once you're on top of the ladder, place the sleeping bag and make sure your avatar is sleeping in it. The last thing you want to do is to remove the ladder and then you'll be able to look like you're flying. You have got to do this glitch in front of other players in order to confuse them and the best part about this glitch is that you can perform it anywhere, as long as you have the two items we mentioned earlier. And finally, the last method you can use in order to fly in Brookhaven is to use the bomb trick. For you to use this method, the first thing that you want to do is to get smaller. So basically, set your avatar size to 0.5 or any size that is smaller than the regular one. Then, what you want to do next is to choose the Hurt animation and equip a bomb in your inventory. Then, put the bomb on your head and under your legs for the game to glitch out and you'll be able to fly. However, you won't be able to control the trajectory of your flight. Alright guys, so unfortunately this video has come to an end. That is it on how to fly hacks in Roblox Brookhaven. Since you guys have reached here, I just want to remind you to subscribe so you will not miss any of our upcoming Roblox videos. Also, like the video as it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm and lets this topic be delivered to more people. And lastly, share this video so we can inform others. With that, thank you so much for watching, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.